Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will discuss the continue and the break statement of the PHP programming language. But before that, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so, this continue and break statements of the PHP programming language are very easy to use. You just have to remember that when we say continue, or if you will use continue in your program code, it will just immediately return to the loop. It will just come back immediately to the loop. As you can see here in line 17 of our example here, it will just continue or it will just go back to line 14. So when this statement, line 17, is executed, it will immediately go to 14. Meaning to say, it will not execute 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 because it will immediately return to 14. The other one, which is the break, this one jumps out of the loop. Meaning to say, it will get out of the loop immediately. So as you can see here in our example here in line 30, so there is a loop here from 28 to 34, there is a loop. So it will loop here for five times. But when this break is executed, what will happen is that it will immediately go out of the loop and it will execute 35. But we don't have a program here, so that will be the end of the program. So that is what the break is will do it will not execute anymore 31 32 and 33 so that's how the break is working if you will run this program this is the output of all this program here the first part here it will print 1 2 4 and 5 and if you will notice it will not print number 3 so from line 14 or 13 up to line 23 that is the program for this 1 2 4 and 5 the output is 1 2 4 and 5 so this is the program for it it is supposed to be going into the loop or it will go supposed to be into the loop for five times but based on the code if x reaches 3 initially it is 1 so when it reaches 3 what will happen is that it will increase the x so that it will become 4 and then continue. So what will happen is that when this is executed, it will go to the while like this. But if x is not equal equal to 3, meaning to say if it is not equal to 3, meaning to say it will just go to else, else and then 20 which is echo dollar $x. So it will continue printing the other numbers and after which it will just increase. So in the, in the beginning of the execution of this, x is equal to 1 and so 1 is less than equal to 5. So that is true. And then line 15, 1 equal equal 3, the answer here is false. And so since it is false, it will go to else which is 19. Right? Because if it is true, it will go to 16. But 15 is false. X equal equal 3. 1 equal equal 3. The answer is false. So it will go to else. And then it will print 1. So it will print 1 there. And then we have to increase the X. So that it will become 2. So it will look back again in 14. 2 less than equal 5. Yes. 2 equal equal 3. False. So it will go to 19 again and then it will print 2. So the printing is 2 here. So line 20 will print 2 and then 22. It will increase again to 1. It will make it 3. And it will return back to 14 which is 3. 3 less than equal 5. Yes. Then it will execute 15. 3 equal equal 3. Yes. The answer is yes. So it will go now to 16. It will make it 4. Be before it is 3 so now it will make it 4 and then continue 
So, this is what I'm saying a while ago. Continue will just return back immediately to 14. So, it will never execute anymore 18, 19, 20, 22. Okay, so since it went back here in 14, so 4 less than equal 5, yes. 4 equal equal 3, no. So, it will go to else, echo 4. Echo dollar $x, which is 4. So, the 4 is there. And so on until it reaches 5. So that's how the continue is working. And then the last part or the last code that we have here using the break 1 and 2, it will just print 1 and 2. So it's supposed to loop for 5 times, but it only printed 2. How that happened? So because of the break here in 30. So initially, x is 1. So it will go to the loop. And then if 1 equal equal 3 no so it will go here in 32 so it will just print 1 and then we have to increase 1 by 1 so dollar $x plus plus that means it's 2 2 less than equal 5 yes so it will go up again here in 28 so 2 equal equal 3 no so it will print again 2 or it will print again the value of x which which is now 2 so we have the 2 there so this time we have to increase x by 1 so x is equal to 3 now so 3 less than equal 5 yes so it will come back again in 28 and then it will execute 29 so 3 equal equal 3 yes the answer is yes so it will go to 30 because the answer here is yes or true so it will go to 30 so break Again, when it reaches break or it, when it execute break, it means it will get out of the loop. So it will immediately go out. It will e execute line 35, of which we don't have a code. So that's the end of the program. And so the output is only 1 and 2. It never printed 3, 4, and 5 because we provide in the code or replace in the code that when x is 3 break meaning get out of the loop we can use the continue and the break using the for statement also another use of the break is to jump out of the switch statement i have a tutorial video about the switch statement wherein you can find that in this channel and so i have discussed there already the break but this time using the switch statement which is somewhere here so the break statement can be used in the switch statement which is to jump out of the switch statement and to jump out of the loop so for you to understand also the loop statements the do while the while and the for statements you can watch these videos so that you will have a better understanding of the loop statements and so that is just how to use the continue and the break. So continue will just return immediately to the loop, whereas the break, it will get out immediately of the loop. I hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one.